What up YouTube? We are at Sunset Bay in Oregon today. And Mike's out surfing, Raph and Remy went to check some tide pools out. And I think I'm probably gonna do some fishing here in a minute. There is Mike right out there. You can see Raph and Remy on the face of the cliff and Mike in front of them surfing. There's Mike riding one, a little one in. That's all there are today is little waves. Not big enough? Some small, tiny wave bullshit, barely big enough to push me. Well, hey, check it out, dude. A homegirl in the red hoodie was totally checking you out as you walked by. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I figured I'd let you know. Now it's kayak time. Raph and Remy are stuck, and it looks like Mike is going out on the kayak to maybe pick Raph up, because it looks like Remy is free. How stuck is your dad? I mean, on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably say like a seven-ish. Like a seven? One yeah. to ten? Seven? Okay. Probably. He's been in the same spot for quite some time. Yeah, probably. And you just left him? You left your father he there, me, man? He told me to go, so I did. Okay, okay. We have the man on the scene to tell you about the waves today. Well, they're bullshit. They're <laughs> tiny little, tiny little fucking ripples of bullshit. And, uh, you know, when you got guys that come out from the East Coast to visit you, they think this is fucking monster tsunami shit, but really, no, no. <laughs> this is weak sauce, you know? Weak sauce. Wait till tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow's video will be better. It'll be in the rain, but it'll be better. Nice. Mike came back in, swapped out the kayak for the surfboard. Surf's coming back up a little bit. And it looks like Raphael got off the uh, wall. I'm gonna interview him as soon as him and Remy show back up. News flash, boys and girls. Raphael. I was stuck. <laughs> I was enjoying myself. Okay. Good enough. Mike's getting a good little ride out of that one. Another good little run by Mike. I'm walking over to see if Raph has had any luck fishing off the uh, point here. And we're gonna try to get out there without getting wet. That was sketchier than I was expecting. Any luck? You haven't even fished yet. This is the hangout rock. We're hanging out. Let's see, let's see your, your best sea lion impersonation, Wally. Here comes Mike in the kayak right there. What up? This is that pool where we saw the sea bass the other day. See, Raph, you're not fishing aggressively enough. <laughs> Cody here is an aggressive fisherman, and that's why he has a fish in his hand. Raph is not an aggressive fisherman, and that's why we don't have any fish. Zero. But you let her out fish you all the time. She does, because I sit here and bait up and rig up for her. Burrow down, when the tide goes out, they burrow into the sand, and when high tide comes up, they come up and feed. Okay. And so there's just a ton of pinholes out there in the sand that we uh, you use them with like a slurp gun. Yeah, kind of. Okay. We use a bigger clam gun because we'll pull. I mean, all of our pulls today were about six shrimp per hole. Oh wow! So I mean, we filled, we covered the bottom of the bucket in about ten minutes. 
Okay, that's pretty impressive. So that'd be two good days of fishing. Yeah, yeah. Raphael and I are aggressively getting some local knowledge from Cody there. Here comes Mike to check on the progress. Here are all the sand shrimp burrows. And that's the bait that Cody was showing us. They live in these holes. That was our last day down in Coos Bay and it was a fun, just chill day at Sunset Bay, which is a beautiful, beautiful bay. We enjoyed the Coos Bay area, but we are up in Washington now. We've been here for about three days. Don't know what we're gonna do. We're cooking dinner and doing a bunch of editing and we're trying to catch up and get all these videos out to y'all. Hope y'all had a great week and we got a lot of videos coming for you tonight. Talk to y'all soon.